Philip Ruddick has been, is the father of the House, means he's been in Parliament for over 40 years, he's the longest serving member of the House of Representatives. He was an outstanding minister in the Howard government, notably as Immigration Minister and Attorney General. He is one of the absolute icons of the Liberal Party. He is uh, well loved. He is well respected. He is esteemed by all of the Liberal Party right across the country. And look, Tony Abbott, as Philip said, is entitled to appoint and, and, uh, and uh, replace uh, the Chief Whip as and when he wishes. That's his call. But I, was, I have to say I was very sad to see the announcement. Uh, I think, um, well, Tony, you know, it was Tony's call, right? So he, he's, he's the one that has to explain it. But I just want to say that I think Philip Ruddock is a great Liberal, a great parliamentarian, and uh, it was a very sad day for all of us when we learnt that he had been, uh, his services as Chief Whip had been uh, terminated and, uh, by the Prime Minister. So was it a mistake to sack such a respected figure like Philip Ruddock without ceremony or speeches late on a Friday afternoon, which we all as journalists know is known as take out the trash day? The day when you do the difficult things when no one's watching. Well, uh, was it a mistake? Um, for him to do it, yeah. Uh, and for him to do it in that look, manner. Really, that is... I'm, 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 uh, this, is a, this is actually I mean, this I mean, is a question for your opinion. Yeah, and I know it is a, I know it is a question for my opinion. <laughs> and and, I'm, and I'm, I'm happy to share my opinions on lots of things, but I'm not going to share my opinions... <laughs> On my colleagues, uh, so but I you just shared all the good opinion about your <laughs> yes. colleagues. I, I'm happy to speak well of my colleagues, but I'm uh, not going to run a commentary on the prime minister's decisions. I mean, this look—he didn't consult me. I don't know who he consulted. It is, it, you know, he's he's the boss. Uh, was he, he's the captain? He can make a captain's call. Uh, well, that's, I mean, that's his description of it. It's true. It is true. If you're the prime minister, there's a bunch of decisions you can take. And how you take them and who you consult with is a matter for you. Uh, and whether the decisions are right or wrong, uh, you know, time and public opinion, no doubt, and other events will determine. But I, I, I'm not going to... I, all I'm prepared to say about Philip Ruddick is what a okay, fine man right. he is, and I was very sad to see his services terminated in that role. Full stop.